Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm Paul Sim with uh, um, Pivot Solar Breeze, and we're here to talk about uh, Aerial by Solar Breeze, which is our newest solar-powered robot for cleaning swimming pools. Okay. A solar-powered robot for cleaning swimming pools. Obviously, uh, when we think of cleaning swimming pools, we, in my head, I see the little thing that looks like a stingray with the big pipe that comes up, and sure, this probably yeah. isn't that. And, well, and most people clean what we think is clean their pools upside down. So okay. all of that debris enters the surface of your pool, um, and it, most of that debris you're cleaning off the bottom, which is what most people do, floats on the surface for three or four hours before it sinks. And so we said, well, why don't we kind of turn pool cleaning upside down a little bit and actually try to remove that debris from the surface of the pool before it sinks? And so we created a solar powered robot um, that is essentially floats on the surface of your pool. It drives itself around the pool and collects all the debris off the surface before it sinks. And of course, the advantage of that is that you get the debris before it decays and before it creates bacteria in your swimming pool. Uh, so, so you get a lot less bacteria growth. And, uh, and most people find they need to, they can do less filtration as well and also use less chemicals. Getting that debris off the surface before it sinks is, is actually quite a big deal. Yeah, that's the, the first thing I thought when you said that, that you deal with it at the surface and not uh, underwater is that uh, it means that you don't have to use as much chemicals or have to do it as frequently. Yeah, that's correct. Because by the time that debris gets to the bottom of your pool, it's actually decayed and it's created bacteria in your pool already. So it's already made your pool dirty. Yeah, so um, in the, and let me see if I can, uh, okay. So, um, this so there you can see this is aerial by solar breeze you can see the solar panels on the top of the unit yeah uh, you can see two paddle wheels here at the back of the unit that drive the unit through the water sure and then uh, you can't really see in the picture here but there's also a paddle wheel at the front where this handle is that scoops the debris into the unit as the unit's passing through the water and okay. then as the water's passing through the de debris collection chamber um, this there's a fine mesh screen in the debris tray here that filters out pollens and dust particles and and okay. uh, all of those kinds of things. So that uh, and also the larger debris um, that you can sure. see here as well. Some of our customers send us pictures that are it's just crazy the amount of debris that they clean off the uh, off the surface of the, of the pool. And you can actually see in this picture here. Um, this is an aerial shot of a pool, and you can see aerial operating in the pool. A lot of debris in this pool, and you can kind of see just the path in behind it here where it's uh, more or less debris-free. Um, and so the unit will run around your pool all day long while the sun is shining. It collects up all of that debris and material that's, uh, that's, uh, that's in your pool and um, stores it inside the debris chamber, filters the water through uh, the fine mesh filter. And uh, as a result, as we said before, just you end up with a lot less uh, debris floating uh, or debris falling to the bottom of your pool. So sure. less bacteria growth and a lot less bottom cleaning that you have to do as well. So you don't need to run even your pool pump as often. A lot of people find they can reduce the amount of time they run their pool pump, which Even saves better. them quite a lot of time on uh, quite a lot of money on energy as well. Right. Because, because this one powers itself, which is obviously very different than, than a pool pump and things like that. So if you can use this thing that powers itself, that's way better. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's getting the power from the sun. These are 12 watt solar panels here okay. on the top of the unit. Uh, there's also a lithium ion battery inside the unit sure. uh, or actually a lithium metal battery inside the unit uh, that um, re that it charges during the day. So during the day, the solar panels generate enough power to 
uh, charge the unit or to drive the unit as well as charge the batteries. Right. So if you have a nice sunny day, like you get lots of those in Florida or here in Arizona where we're located, yeah. usually by the end of the day, the unit will have close to, to a fully charged battery. So it's run all day in your pool. It also has a, a fully charged battery. And then it'll run all night in, in most cases in the, certainly during the summer, in the winter time, it may not quite run all night, but it'll run uh, through the night until the battery gets down to a certain level and then it shuts itself off. And when the sun comes up in the morning, it wakes up, the solar panels know there's sun, it uh, gets itself charged up a little bit and away it goes again. So so you don't you know have to hit the switch or do anything new, you just put it in your pool, t- turn on the switch and away it goes. It keeps that surface of your pool clean and as a result a lot less debris getting to the bottom nice now obviously it's going around and collecting things off the surface of the water so uh that collection probably has to be emptied at some point sure so you can see in one of the pictures here how the debris tray slides out the front of the unit and there's actually a little um window you can't see it that well in these pictures but there's a little window in the top so as the unit's going around the pool it comes to the edge you can kind of peek in and you can see whether or not it's getting full that was going to be my uh, question yeah so you can just kind of peek in see if it's getting full if it looks like it's getting full you know just reach down uh, turn off the unit grab the handle pull it out Um, usually i like to take it over to the you know wherever our waste basket is or, or compost heap is and Sure. And uh, take the tray out there and just empty it out, put the tray back in, put it back in your pool and away it goes. You know, how often you have to clean it out kind of depends on how um, how much debris you get in your pool. But um, so if your some pool folks right under an oak tree, you're going to be yeah. doing it a lot, for example. Yeah, a live oak tree there in Florida. If you've got lots <laughs> of debris, uh, you'll you'll probably have to empty it out every day. But uh, uh, it's still you'll find it uh, a lot less hassle than trying to hand skim the pool yourself. You know, one of the things our customers tell us is, gosh, my kids actually will swim in the pool after uh, after school now when they come home because uh, they're not all, um, you know, concerned about bugs and debris and everything that's floating in the in the pool. So. And I don't have to spend 20 minutes uh, skimming the pool just so the kids will jump in. Yeah, to- totally makes sense. So uh, the 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 two big, I guess, three big questions, right? The first is, uh, what's the weight on this? If we're going to be pulling it out of the pool, how much does it weigh? Yeah, it's it's right around ten pounds. The unit, uh, uh, not not too heavy, really. It's probably a little less than ten pounds without the okay. debris in it. But oftentimes, with the debris in it, it's a, it's about ten pounds. So it's a dumbbell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. It's not. Got it's it. really not. Uh, not too challenging to to, okay. to get in and out of the pool. pool. All right. And uh, important questions two and three. Uh, when and how much? So we've had a previous product like this we called Solar Breeze or Solar Breeze NX um, for a few years. But the Aerial unit is replacing that product. Okay. And uh, it's just going into production now. So it's going to be available to delivery for delivery to customers in the um, probably late March, early April time frame, just in time for, for pool season ramping up. Okay, so second um, quarter. Yeah, yeah, second quarter. You can go to our website and you can order it directly online. Um, we're actually offering a bit of a discount right now uh, to, um, to customers if they pre-order and, and prepay. Uh, the retail price will be five twenty eight. I think our discount now, you can buy it online, pre-order, prepay for four. 68 and that includes uh, free shipping and also uh, an additional year warranty standard warranty is one year but we're offering an extended two-year warranty on it right now if you uh, pre-order and prepay our website is www.solar-or-breeze.com so solar-breeze.com you can go there and the aerial is now our featured product on the page and and uh, we'd be happy to uh have customers join us. I'm going to stop sharing so people can actually see who I am again. Very, very uh, cool. Hopefully. I, I, I'm really in, intrigued by this. Um, I'm glad that we were able to, uh, to, to get you on the, the show here because a lot of people have pools. And so this is a, 
there's a challenge that everybody that has one uh, deals with. Yeah, one, our customers have quoted a couple of cool things for us. Uh, one of our customers said to us, you know, my pool is always swim ready. Um, you know, so if I have a solar breeze in the pool, I don't have to worry about uh, what it looks like when, you know, uh, I want to go out to swim. I get home at night. Uh, you know, in Arizona here, it's been 110 degrees in, uh, in <laughs> July. And the first first thing I want to do is jump in the pool, right? And then I walk out and all of a sudden I find, gosh, it's covered in leaves and debris and I don't want to get yeah. in. And now I got to spend 15 or 20 minutes cleaning it. So so it's always swim ready and uh, uh, or as one customer said, always party ready. If I'm having a backyard barbecue, I don't have to worry about whether or not the pool's going to look clean when uh, when the when the uh, guests come over for the for the barbecue. So there's just a lot. The convenience of keeping the pool yeah. clean is just uh, significantly improved if you have an aerial uh, by solar breeze in your pool. Absolutely, totally makes sense. Well, I definitely appreciate you uh, coming and talking to me today and uh, and showing off the product. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate the opportunity to be uh, be here. We're excited about being part of CES as well. Uh, it's really our first time in the show, and uh, we were surprised okay. today. We've already had uh, a lot of interest from people in the product, and you know, it's kind of a unique approach to to doing a show this year. But I think it's kind of exciting. It uh, it involves people from all over the world. We're getting inquiries from uh, from from places. You don't have to be in Las Vegas to be part of the show this year. Yeah. And, and, you know, that that adds uh, an interesting aspect, both in positives and negatives. Right. The, the, the positive right. is that that, you know, people didn't have to all travel <laughs> to to congregate in three buildings in Las Vegas. Uh, obviously, time zones have have created an interesting challenge. Um, we had we had one person uh, yesterday who was. It sent me an email. I'm waiting in the studio. Well, <laughs> your interview is in 21 hours. So yeah, I would yeah, recommend uh, doing something else. <laughs> yeah, it's always a bit. Well, and the other thing for exhibitors like ourselves is, uh, you know, you have people attending the shows uh, around the clock now as well. So mm -hmm. uh, some, some, some attendees are kind of expecting you to be there or maybe want to chat with you when it's four o'clock in the morning, our time here in yeah. Arizona. But, you know, we work our way around that and, uh, and, uh, you know, leave. there's the messaging system seems to work pretty well. Uh Oh, there we go. I don't know what just happened. Uh, you, you fell out of the studio for a second. Uh, uh, oh dear. uh, yeah, it, the, the messaging system worked pretty well. I, I probably of the, Five or six hundred invites that I sent out, I think about a hundred or one hundred and fifty of them went out through the the in app messaging system. Uh, so yeah, it it works pretty well. Yeah, especially yeah, so. especially for something that that Microsoft custom built in a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like searching, exactly. searching exactly. in the messaging doesn't really work. For example, so <laughs> if if attendees are at the show and they're looking for us, you can find us by searching exhibitors either Ariel or Solar Breeze or Ariel by Solar Breeze, uh, and you'll find uh, find our booth and find our showcase and and um, and the, in addition to the pictures that I saw you there, there's a couple of videos you can look at. Cool. There's uh, there's a variety of other pictures that kind of show you how the unit functions and uh, and we have our team available on chat and you can send us a message and in addition of course to you know looking for customers who have swimming pools that would like to buy our product uh, we're also uh, interested in finding dealers and retailers who might be interested in representing it and including it in their in their product offering to their customers as well so if you fit into that category you know feel free to reach out to us or contact us at, uh, at our website as well. We have options if you go to our website for how you can reach out to us. If, uh, if you think it might be a product you'd like to carry in your store or, or your online store or whatever, uh, whatever uh, retail kind of retail operation you might have. Very cool. Well, well, thanks for coming on and talking. Um, I, I might have a couple of connections to make for you uh, on the retail <laughs> side. So I'll see what I can do. Well, we look forward to that. We're, we're certainly enthusiastic about uh, speaking with anyone. And it's not like it's a brand new product. We've had an earlier version of this product in the field now for, you know, seven or eight years. And so, 
So, um, and this is kind of the next evolution in terms of performance, intelligence, and and reliability. So we're really excited. Very good. Well, thank you so much, and uh, enjoy the rest of the digital CES. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're looking forward to it. I hope you enjoyed that interview, and if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.